In play, Asian handicaps, heads up. You might have heard all these words being thrown around, but what does it actually mean? That is actually rather important in the world of betting. I'm Joe for the Betting Expert Academy, and today we'll talk about bet types. In-play betting or live betting is, as the name suggests, betting on an event whilst it is happening. That could be on a football match, and depending on the match and league, you can have a wide range of markets to bet on live. The odds change according to the flow of the event. That could be according to score lines, red card, time remaining, and many other things. It is also here you could find value. An example might be, let's say, Liverpool are playing at home to Aston Villa, and they go behind early to an early fluke goal. You clearly see that this was against the run of play and Liverpool have enough time and enough talent to come back and win. You get much better odds in play than you would have done before the game. So when you choose a bookmaker to bet with in play, you should consider how their live markets are for the given sport you are interested in betting on. Don't choose a bookmaker who have fewer markets, for example on football, if that is the sport you would like to bet on live. A part of live betting is also the opportunity to cash out early. The value the bookmaker offers you at a certain time will depend on what your pre-match bet was and the odds of it, your stake and the current match odds. So whether you cash out or partially cash out is up to you and should depend on your strategy and how you feel the match will play out for the remainder of it. Now, what is a partial cash out, you might be thinking? Well, as it suggests, it is to take a part of your profit or loss and then leaving the rest live. Now, many bettors use the strategy of cashing out their initial stake, leaving the rest in play. This ensures that the better will either make a profit or break even. Head-to-head -head betting is probably the most traditional type of bet, and what most would prefer to as simply betting. It essentially means that you bet on the outcome of a match, win, lose, or in a draw when we're talking about football. Settling the bet is also straightforward. If you pick the correct outcome, you win. If not, you lose. There are quite a few sports who don't have a draw as an option though to think about. That's tennis, basketball and baseball being examples. You'll bet on just either team to win. Now, as I mentioned, this is a type of betting that most newcomers will connect with and therefore it is a good, simple and easy starting point. Handicap betting. Now they come in quite a few variations, but what it boils down to is that you try to make a contest more even, for example, giving a team more starting points or goals. This gives you a better opportunity to also bet on an underdog. So let's say that Burnley face Manchester City. Now everybody thinks that City will win 9 out of 10 of these meetings and the odds are therefore very low on City to win the game. But with a handicap of say one goal, City become less of a favourite to win because in our bet, Burnley starts with a goal before the match has even kicked off. And let's say you think Burnley have a chance to nick a draw from the match but could potentially also win, you would find the bet that says Burnley plus one, indicating that they start with a goal and then put your money on Burnley to win. Now this means that if the match ends in a draw, Burnley will still win that bet because they started with a goal advantage. And of course, if they win the match outright, your bet will be a winner. Now this is a very popular in all sports to make the matches more interesting. And if you have a good feeling about a potential upset, then handicap betting could be the way to go. Now, as with regular betting, Asian handicap betting is interesting because it gives you more options in matches that are more certain in their outcome. Now, an Asian handicap attempts to create a 50-50 proposition by giving a goals handicap to each of the competing teams. It is typically displayed like this. So Manchester City minus one and a half and Burnley plus one and a half. Now, Asian handicaps basically rule out the draw as an option. So in this example, Manchester City have been given a goals handicap of minus one and a half, while their opponents Burnley have been given a handicap of plus one and a half goals. So if you bet on Man City minus one and a half, they'll need to win by two clear goals for your bet to win. So even if they won by one goal, your bet would actually still be a loser. Now this should be pretty straightforward to understand once you've tried it a few times. Where Asian handicaps can get slightly more confusing is when you start betting quarter handicaps. So for an example, you can actually bet on Man City minus one and three quarters. Now, the best way to think about quarter handicaps is that it splits your stake in half. You'll be betting on both Man City minus two and Man City minus one and a half. So if they do win by those two clear goals, half of your bet will be a winner, the minus one and a half bit, and the other half will be considered a push. So you actually get that part of your stake back. Quarter handicaps are good for spreading your risk. 
Now, if it is still a bit confusing, we've got a great chart on the Betting Expert website that gives you all the outcomes for the most popular handicaps. The point of the Asian handicap is that it gives you more opportunities than head-to-head -head betting and the opportunity to make more events and matches much more interesting. Each way betting is very popular, particularly when it comes to horse racing. What it means is that you bet on both the horse to win outright and also to place in the race. Placing means a horse finishes second, third or fourth, depending on the number of runners in a race. And note that place terms can also change if a bookie is feeling particularly generous. Now, each way betting is a good way to back relatively big price horses and get your stake back or profit slightly if your horse doesn't win but still runs well. Now, if you don't win but the horse places, you won't get the same odds. It will usually be a quarter or a fifth of the winning odds. So for an example, you could bet on a 10 to 1 horse each way. If it places and the bookie is paying quarter odds a place, you would win £25 from the place part of your bet. So after your total stake of £20, 10 on win and 10 on place, you end up with a profit of £15. Now, of course, if your horse wins, then you get paid out on both the win part and the place part of your bet. So in the 10 to 1 example, paying quarter odds each way, you'd win £125 profit from your £20 stake. So even if the horse doesn't win, you still come out on top. And that is what makes this type of betting as popular as it is, especially when you have multiple outcomes. Now note, each way betting is primarily seen in horse racing, but the same concept applies to anti-post markets and is also very popular in golf, where sometimes you can profit even if your player finishes as low as 10th place. One of the most popular ways of betting, especially for the casual punter who wants a bit of action for the weekend's football matches, is the accumulator. What it is, is basically a multi-bet with two or more selections, and it works quite simply. All the odds for the different selections are multiplied with each other. So let's take an example for a weekend's Premier League action. You select four outcomes. You believe Man United will win at 3-4, Chelsea will win at 9-10, Liverpool will win at 6-5, and Arsenal and Tottenham will draw at 12 to 5. You multiply them one after the other and end up with odds of about 24 to 1. Sounds great, right? Well, that depends because each selection you add to your accumulator has the potential to be your downfall. If just one loses, they all lose. So therefore, only add those you deem to be good value bets. Now, when placing your accumulator at your preferred bookmaker, you'll notice a range of options available to you. Most bookmakers allow you the opportunity to compile a number of selections into an array of accumulated bets. Now, these options give you the possibility to win even if one side lets you down. Now, for more information on these options, check out our page on accumulators or the information below. A bet type that can pit your wits against a certain bookmaker is the over-under bet. A bookmaker can set a line of how they see a certain event play out. In football, the most popular over-under bet is on goals. Here, the line will typically be two and a half goals, and your job as a better is then to bet over if you think there will be three or more goals, or under if you think there will be two or fewer goals. Over-under markets don't just apply to football, but to pretty much any other sport. For instance, over-under total games in tennis or total rushing yards in American football, there are plenty to choose from. Now, a few tips to land more of your over-under bets. Don't look at averages, but occurrences. A team might have scored on average three goals per match, but has only gone over the two and a half line in 30% of their matches due to a few high-scoring outliers. Now, another tip would be to stick to the line that the bookmaker sets. You might see good odds on that over four and a half goals, for instance, but there is a reason the line is usually drawn at two and a half. For me, over-under betting can make any match enjoyable. Let's say you've bet on over two and a half goals, then you'll be cheering on both teams on every attack. Bookmakers have recently moved to giving more power to the punters by allowing them to build their own customized bets through bet builders. So if you fancy a team to win a game as well as there to be over eight corners and maybe a certain defender to be booked, you can now combine these in an accumulator style bet on a single game. The odds will generally be pretty high for that type of combination. So bet builders give you a great chance to win big from relatively small stakes. Now, the Bet Builder feature is really straightforward to use, and here's an example of creating a bet through Bet365's Bet Builder feature. There are plenty of combinations possible, so have a play around with it and let us know your best combo bets. 
So that's just a few of the most popular types of bets out there, but there are loads more. I look forward to bringing you more from the Betting Expert Academy, but until next time, if you do place a bet, please gamble responsibly.